Hi, how's it going? I'm Malachi Grubb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. guys how to get inside of a banner safety controller that's locked out there is a password override and i know there's nothing out there on the internet for it um so we're gonna immediately just go ahead and jump right into this software because it's gonna be a very quick short video and i'm gonna show you guys how to do it so we're gonna go ahead and just down do a download to the controller so right configuration to the controller uh response times might be different just okay this now we're gonna go ahead and enter a password here. Now that's the password we don't have. All right, so the password that you're looking for is 9047 star. Uh, you put in this password and it's gonna bring you right to the download of the configuration. Now you can do the same thing with the password manager. We're gonna go ahead and continue with this. Uh, if you're doing this from the display and trying to enter a password from the display, it's 9047 and leave out the star. Hopefully that was useful for you guys. We're gonna confirm this. And then now it's downloaded. Uh, it says power cycle the controller here. So this is just standard. Every time you do a download to one of these controllers, you have to power cycle the controller. Uh, but here you go, we are good. Hopefully that, got, that saved you guys uh, a lot of trouble. Hopefully it saved you from having a bricked banner safety controller. Uh, we really love this banner safety controller. It's probably our go-to controller if we're not using an Allen Bradley uh, safety PLC so subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this more just industrial automation related content I think one of our next videos that will be coming out will be around the topic of events so or maybe it's already came out before this one not sure but hit that subscribe button so you can uh, be informed and be updated whenever we do post content like this catch you on the next one